Okay guys, this is a little um, random video. However, I'm just gonna be recording it. Now this bag I did, this was like the first bag, the first school bag that I made actually. The first school bag that I made. Now I made this last year for a client of mine and basically the child wore it. His daughter, his daughter wore the bag and actually um, here the straps had pulled out so what I did was I took it from him and I fixed the straps for him and you guys can see how I do it's a little girl I'm not really sure how old she is but because the fabric is so durable and everything and that was like the main problem there and I think there was something wrong with that one with a little side of the pocket and you guys I actually just took it from him and I literally just fixed that and again I mean she can have a second go at these now again the fabric here the fabric here is velvet and then here this one is microfiber but this is the very thick microfiber that I would actually used for these bags and it's just so happened like I can't believe it when I got it back I was shocked to see what good condition um, it was still in so what I did was I took it and I fixed it up and again she, she I mean she can get another go at this bag back to school she get, can get, get a good salad here from this thing you know I'm um, here she has the little thing she can put her she has her side pocket she can actually put like her bottle water and so on in there and she have two of them so you know um, she has her pocket here. Um, I just really, I was very shocked that it, the fabric was in such good condition. I know that this fabric, I expect this fabric because it's so thick. However, the velvet, um, I must say, um, this is a year after, well after a year actually. Because that was like last year, August. So this is well after a year. I mean, this is, we're going into October now. So this is well over a year. And the fabrics, they really do stand up to the wear and tear. I was actually shocked when he said that the strap had pulled out. I thought he was referring to here. But not at all. This was what actually pulled out. These were actually strong in out. And so I pushed it all the way up here. And then I stitched it to reinforce it. And I'm very surprised because it actually can go another here. I mean, the fabrics are just so durable. And I'm very, very happy that I actually get a chance to actually record. Because this is the very first bag that I made when I didn't even really have... Um, because I didn't build it off of a, like a model, I just basically just had the basic idea. We all know what a school bag is supposed to look like, right? And I basically just made that. Now this um, inside is Gingingham. I was using these when I just started out. I just loved the print. <laughs> and then I started going plain when um, some person said that it's a little bit too plain, playful. But I still stick to these colors, especially like for things for children. But um, this can take another here. Here I have my tags in it because I do put my, my thing in it. And it does say made in Jamaica. Let me see if I can find. So there you have the thing. And it does say made in Jamaica. No bleach. Made in Jamaica. And my name is there. But yes, you guys. Um, this is it. I just think it's just remarkable to see that it actually the zip was in good condition I, I, I was just amazed the zip these plastic zippers right and the same one I use on the computer box this is this is one that I use you get them by the yard and I mean it's just amazing you guys I was just very stunned that I, I had thought that the pressure would come here because usually when you buy those bags in the stores, the pressure here it goes. But no, it was here and I think the way how I done the strap here, I had this, but it was at the back here. It was sticked onto the back here. So I had used 
put it here and then I moved them now to the side here um, so I mean as, as I said this was the first bag that I did so I had the, the strap for down here was actually coming from the bottom here and then it came up and that was also pulling so now I have this and I put it at the side you know as you go along and you're sewing you're going to be learning new tricks and you know how, how how it goes already once you're gonna be doing something you're gonna be learning what to do and what not to do but i just think that this is really really amazing and i just wanted to share it this with you guys this was the first school bag that i actually did and it's just amazing to see just how good of a condition it's in after a year and remember you guys a child was taking this to school and you know how it is when children are taking stuff there to their bags down obviously i mean he says that his daughter really loves it because even after the straps had broken out i'd ask him before during the holidays to take it to me so i could fix it up so the child could get another another go at it to go to school but he said she loved it so much she was actually sleeping with it and that's because of the texture of the fabric it is so nice the, you all know if you feel velvet material it has that really nice soft feel to it and so I guess that was why she was actually sleeping with it she loved the bag so much but I'm sure she's going to appreciate the fact that it's um, done up for her and once more she can get another here to go and sport her bag um apparently it's now become her favorite bag but i'm sure she'll appreciate this anyways you guys thank you very much for joining me on this video and i'll see you guys on another video be sure to like subscribe leave me a comment you guys and let me know what you think about all these videos that i've been doing on um, just reviewing a few of these bags that I've been making. But this bag, I think it really takes the cake because this is a bag that I did without having any clue or idea as of to how these particular fabrics would actually fear under pressure and to know that the sewing that I did was so good that it didn't break out here. Um, I just think that the, 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 the sturdiness of the material because I like to use the, the thicker materials at the back here to anchor because that's actually what carries the weight and for the bottom as well I use thicker materials. Anyways you guys thank you very much for joining me on these videos and I'll see you guys on another video. Leave me a comment you guys and let me know what you think about these videos like subscribe share and i will see you guys again on another video you guys thanks for joining me bye guys